All right. I don't know what happened this next segment. Uh, there's Indy Hartwell. There's Persian oh, Parada. Oh, I need a name. Who wrote this? Who wrote all of these? These are shit. They're trash. And the worst part is I believe that Indy Hartwell and Persia Parada are friends. But it's exactly like I said last week. This may as well be a cold read between two people who have never met. They don't understand the characters. They're just given a script and they are told to read it to each other. It's fucking horrible. They have absolutely, positively, zero non-existent charisma together. And I don't know how. Can we? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Whatever you're doing with this, these two is not working. That's okay? clear. So, if you're scripting it, then next week they got to try and just wing it. Okay? If they're winging it, then next week you got to script it. But whatever you're fucking doing with these two, stop. Okay? Whatever you're doing, stop doing it and try something else. Because this ain't the first time. It's been week it's a, after week no after exceptions. week after week. They're... And I heard Vince McMahon say on Pat McAfee's show... That I learn from what doesn't work, okay? Well, listen, I'm telling you, this shit ain't working, and you need to learn that and try something different. God, I get so mad every time I see these. I, I mean, it's national fucking television. God damn it. The best I could get for the YWF was public access. And there wasn't one fucking thing within the YWF as bad as this shit. And this is on the USA fucking network on national television. Stop doing this. I'm now, I'm now turning into Hanalei. I'd stomp my foot, but there's a glass table here. Now I just have to hit this fucking thing here. Stop it. God damn it. So they have a horrible argument about which of them is a cuter couple. Eventually they decide, we'll meet in Dallas and let the fans decide. What does this mean? I don't know. Are they going to have a mixed tag match? No, they're going to have, like, some fucking voting. Uh, or the fans... A, I that, said it was going to be voting and don't... It's not going to be voting. The fans are gonna, just going to cheer boo. That's voting! <laughs> is it going to be a fashion show? I don't a know what it is. beauty pageant? Are they going to make out? Are they going to play the newlywed game? What's God, happening here? God, help me. I, I hope don't, they don't talk. They're going to do something in Dallas. All right. The dramatic reading of the Hulk Hogan Brutus Beefcake promo. Please welcome the Mega Maniacs. Brutus the Barber Beefcake and Hulk Hogan. Well, you know something, Mean Gene? Now more than ever, with just one week away, I'm aware of how destiny is going to take its course, brother. Because just a few short weeks ago, bro, when I was laying in the weeds at Venice Beach, California, and I had Monday Night Raw tuned in, I saw Money Incorporated run across the ring with a metal attache case, with the speed of a lightning bolt. And as it crashed into Brutus, the bionic barber beefcake, Blood Brother's face, I saw what I didn't want to see. I heard what I didn't want to hear. The emotions ran from head to toe. I chilled. I goosebumped. And I broke a sweat as I stood up, man. And I rushed from head to toe. I spent two days running up and down the aisles of Kmart, picking up that tonic, getting all that hair color together, and getting ready to do a number on Money Incorporated. I was sniffing for the hair tonic. I was sniffing for the butch wax. And lo and behold, as I kicked down the door of the Ramada Indoor at 48th and 8th Avenue, just a bit north of the Mid-City Gym, I found the brother. Brutus the Barber Beefcake, with his feet propped up on an ottoman, laid back in a lazy boy, watching Mo, Larry, and Curly with an ice pack on his nose. Thank God for the man upstairs, that Brutus the Barber is okay. So I took to the desert outside Las Vegas, chopping down some big nasty-looking cactuses, trying to dull up the titanium steel blades, chopped down a couple of small mountains, and then it came to me, brother. I knew that I'd just throw the scissors away because I'm just going to yank the hair right out of their heads. So Las Vegas, Nevada, and the whole wide world, what are you going to do when the mega maniacs run wild on you? 
the Hulkster, Hulk Hogan, and Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, the Mega Maniacs, perhaps the next tag team champions of the World Wrestling Federation. The Hulkster has never looked better live and in mint condition. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.